Hello my YouTube friends, Dave Wilson here. Just working on a few things. I uh, wanted to give you a quick update. Um, something that's going on in uh, the community, let's say, is there's a challenge going on or a, a test. Uh, Clockspring has made a new design for a torture test. It's called this uh, toaster test. Anyway, uh, Jim uh, from Edge Tech uh, had him on last Monday. And they're going to try to get some people to print these. Um, I tried, and I had limited at best success. So anyway, this prints is one piece, and it's supposed to have the bread pop up. The sides are supposed to come down and lock. It's got all kinds of things going on with it. But um, anyway, it is a torture test, and I tried five of them, and I've got one or two that sort of succeeded. And um, that was about the best I can say. I've also been printing these chameleons. I really like them. And I've used some uh, filament that's called Rainbow Filament by Zeltec. Anyway, it changes color like every so many meters. So you've got to print a lot of them to get the color to change. So um, I printed nine at a time on the Ender 5 Plus. And right now I'm trying something else. My wife's into knitting hats using these uh, cat looms. Uh, she had some that she purchased, but she wanted one that's a size in between anything that she had. So we got online and uh, found um, a really neat program somebody came up with. You put in the variables you want, size and number of pins and height and everything, and it'll generate an STL file you can print. So we're going to see if this will works for my wife. And then one of our little neighbor friends, a uh, little girl wanted to learn how to do this, so I made her one a little bit different size. I'll put some links into the file. It's, in case somebody wants to do this, it's fun to work with uh, OpenSCAD. Um, it, uh, you put in variable or you change variables and it comes up with what you want. So, anyway, so that's what I've been doing. Um, just trying to get something done and having fun doing it. But uh, I appreciate everybody watching and I love your comments. Thank you and have a good weekend.